special forces of the U.S. landed in the north of Afghanistan and they started assisting the remnants of the Northern Alliance to rise up against the Taliban, which they did. And also to the south, the uh, special forces mobilized Hamid Karzai and some of the special forces traveled along with him to Uruzgan. And when Taliban came to take him, uh, to arrest him, the special forces resisted and then the special forces helicopters extracted him and took him to an unknown location, maybe somewhere in Pakistan. The other leader was uh, Commander Abdul Haq, uh, who hailed from southeastern Afghanistan. He was also mobilized in Peshawar to move in and, and mobilize the southeastern Pashtun tribes against Taliban. He was not accompanied by any uh, American special forces, but he was given a special satellite phone. No. And when he came under attack, he tried to use the, the phone, but it didn't work. Mm. And he was caught and killed by the Taliban. So Hamid Karzai was left as the only Pashtun choice. Mm -hmm. The four groups came together, they were all together around 25 leaders. And they were supposed to decide on a leader to succeed Mullah Omar. Now there, there were other candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently King Zahir Shah nominated Sattar Sirat, who was a, his minister in 1970s and 60s. Uh, uh, he nominated him to, to chair the new administration. It was not presidency or prime ministership. It was chairmanship of the new administration. Now, his nominee was uh, uh, rejected uh, by uh, the U.S. and the U.N. officials, saying that the successor to Mullah Omar should be a Pashtun and should be from Kandahar. So they, they retried the whole process. Mm -hmm. And that's how Hamid Karzai came to the top.